Hey everybody, it's Aiden from Smith & Kong Productions, and look what I just got in the mail. The FX 6300 from AMD. This is a 6-core processor, and clocked at 3.5 gigahertz. Uh, focus. Focus, please. Three point five gigahertz with fourteen megabytes of total cache. Now, um, I'm recording with my iPad right now since I don't have anything else to record with because my camera is washed out. Um, so I'll be bringing you an unboxing of this wonderful processor, and yeah, great. I will see you in the next clip. Alright, I'm back with an array of all the stuff that comes in the box of this wonderful FX 6300. So, I have the processor and sticker, the sticker which will go on right there, the sticker which will go on the front of my case, and the processor which will go in the motherboard, big whoop. And I have the fan with thermal paste pre applied. It's very, very small. That's what you expect for a stock cooler. I do have the instruction manual, eh? Advanced micro devices. Beautiful. And Yep, that is it. Um, uh, last time I brought you anything like this, I was very, very quick. But this time, it won't be so quick. I will give you a thorough review of my case. Bum, 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 bum. That was necessary. Oh, um, so, I'll just clear all this stuff out of the way and get to the case. I am back and ready to start another review. So, I have the Galaxy One from Rosewell. Right here, I have, oh, that's my hand. I have very easily removable things to, places to put my uh, five and a quarter inch drives. Like, uh, things like disk drives, so, uh, card readers, things like that. I'll get into better light for you. Alright, I guess it's better-ish light, but here, in the back, you can't see that, but right here is a 120 millimeter fan. And right here I have a spot right on the side, a spot to put a 120 millimeter fan or 140 millimeter fan. On the top I have my power button and a front or a top USB 3, and also an expansion slot for USB 3. In the front. I've got two USB 2, HDD indicator, reset button, audio in and out. I have in the front, right here at the bottom, front on the bottom, I have a 120 millimeter fan, which lights up blue, which is pretty cool. Blue and red is my color screen, color scheme, blue, red, and black, so all the parts I put into here will match that scheme. So, let's open up the side panel and take a look what's inside. So, what is inside this sexy beast? <laughs> uh, I have my box for all the with all the screws, and I've also got a converter that will allow me to put a three and a half or three and a quarter, I think, drive into here. 
It's a little converter. I'll show you that in just a little bit. I have my manual. I have all of the cables I will need. I have my USB 3. I have my USB. Uh, not my. Uh, yeah, my USB 2. I think this is. Yeah, this is my USB 2. This is my HD audio. This right here is my AC97. I actually have no idea what that is. Someone tell me in the comments, or I'll just look it up on Google or something. I have no idea what that is. Um, I've got a bunch of other stuff like. Um, let's see. I have my power switch. Wait, hold on. Let me get in focus for you. My power switch. I have nah, 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 nah. other stuff, but it won't help. It won't work. So, yeah. <laughs> On the top, I have space for. You can't see that, can you? No, you can't. I have space for one 120 millimeter fan. Now, if I place this on its side. You can look in, and there's only space for one fan in the top. But look, over here, completely encased, and no way to take it out. Why would they do that? Why would they make it so I can't put another fan in? I only have space for one fan. Like, why would they limit my fan space? I don't know. Uh, I've got one in the back, like I showed you earlier. I have all my PCI slots right in the side. Right there. And I've got all my hard drive cages. Like so. Place to put my SSD, which I will be using one. 64 gigabyte, which isn't that big, but yeah. And then my five and a quarter inch base. So up at the top, I noticed that this fan right here actually has a Molex plug and a three pin. So What's with that? So if I don't use the Molex, then it's just going to be sitting here while I use the three pin, so I can actually so I can control it. But I don't know. Every other fan, every other fan has three pin here. Up at the top, I do actually have something interesting. If I can get to it right here. It's Molex looking, but it's only got two pins. It's missing two. Only two. I don't understand that. I don't, I'm really, really new to computers. I don't know much about them yet. But I know that's Molex, but it's only two. I don't know if it's, there's supposed to be only two, or if it's a defect, something like that. But, okay. At the bottom, let's see. I've got a dust filter which unclips like so. I have a dust filter for my power supply. Hold on. Put that back in. I said I'll clip that back in. Thank you. And that is the full review ish. I guess it's almost full. Um, inside, that's not a good position. Inside, I do have places for right here. You can't see that, but I do have 
spots like right here for cable management. I do have pre-installed standoffs here and here and here and here. Uh, I'm actually kind of blendingly touching these things because I'm looking through the camera right now. So I do have feet on the bottom of the case. Awesome. They're just plastic. I'm not really gonna help it stay in place, but yeah. This is not gonna be a quiet case because there's no oh actually um on the other one, on the other side panel, there's a there is a soin there a soined a sound reducer pad on it. Um yeah. That's it. It's it's only like one or two of them I think. It looks like this one had one also, but it looks like it got ripped off or something. Um, I really don't know about that like two pin Molex like looking thing, but uh, if someone can please help me out with that then I would be grateful. So now it's time to open the box. Let's see what's inside. So, in bag number one, what have I got? I've got ties. No, not ties. Um, zip ties, actually. Yeah, zip ties. And two PCI covers. I don't know if you can see that there are two, but there are two. Um, inside bag number two, I've got three more standoffs an insane amount of screws, and a speaker for my motherboard, which will tell me that it is booted without me actually having to plug it into a speaker. So, and this is what I was telling you about earlier. I have the converter, the bay converter, for me to put, like, a card reader in, and then I can easily slide it in. And I do have screws inside there for that. So that covers it. Um, on the inside of here, it gives me a full instruction. It gives me full instructions on how to disassemble and assemble the case, how to do everything with the bays, um, how it tells me how to put the hard drives in, things like that. Um, then it tells me how to close it, and it's a high-quality Rosal product. The only thing I would have uh, added about this is more pads for noise-reducing technology. But and, and also, better airflow on the top. I've only got one fan there. Could have put a second one there easily. But that's just my opinion. But um, thank you very much, YouTube, for watching, and I will join you in the next video.